Hello and welcome to KeyDesign's fourth tutorial on 1-2-3D design. In this video we'll show you how to construct and modify 3D shapes. Let's start off with constructing. In this top menu here we have four different options to turn 2D shapes, 2D surfaces into a three-dimensional shape. Let's start with just a simple 2D surface, this rectangle here that we want to turn into 3D by extruding it. We click on to extrude, we click the shape, and we drag the arrow to extrude it and turn it into a three-dimensional shape. Once we're done, click enter, and we have a 3D block. That's the simplest way to turn any surface sketch into a 3D model. Second option is called sweeping. We can do this with any surface, and we need a path along which we want to actually sweep it along. Now, what does sweeping mean? It means literally extruding that, uh, that surface along a line. So let's draw a spline that will, just a short one here, and we will want to extrude this side of the, of the box along this line. Now, how do we do that? Go into Construct, Sweep, Choose the profile or the, the 2D shape, basically. Then click Path, choose the line, and it will literally extrude it along this path. And if we drag the arrow, we can make it a bit shorter or go the full length. Once we're done, click Enter to confirm that. OK, the next option is called revolving. Now this is useful for creating any kind of profiles and revolving them along an axis, along a line. So let's try and create a simple vase. We need to make a section on that vase. So let's use the polyline to create just a simple profile. Okay, enter. You'll see what, I'll, what I'm doing in a minute. We use the spline to create a nice curved profile. Enter. And we can see now that it's connected and it's um, a solid surface. And one more thing you can do is you can drag these dots to actually modify the, the shape, the surface. That's, that, that's very useful. Going back to Construct, Revolve, it will ask us which profile do we want to revolve. So you select the surface, then you click onto Axes, you select the central axis, and it opens a new menu for actually revolving it. Now here again you can either input 360 degrees, or you can drag this uh, little dot on the, on the circle to choose whatever profile you want. So let's say 360, enter, and here we are. We've turned the 2D sketch into a three-dimensional bass. Last but not least is a uh, loft. Now loft allows us to join 2D, um, two 2D shapes into a three-dimensional shape. To demonstrate this, what I'll do is I'll first create a box and I'll draw two different shapes on its side. So I'll draw a rectangle on this side. And on this side, I'm going to draw a polygon. A hexagon like this. Confirm that. Now I can even delete the box. So I have these two uh, shapes, two two-dimensional surfaces, which are kind of looking at each other. And if I go to Construct, Loft, choose one, choose the other, it will join them and create the surfaces in between them. And then I click Enter, and I've got this really unique shape, which is basically a, a mix, a joint between 
a square and a hexagon. Okay, that is for constructing three-dimensional shapes out of two-dimensional surfaces. Thanks for watching.